Hey guys, what's up? Ryan Necker here, and as you can see, things look a little different. No, I haven't moved, I'm still in the same studio, but I'm testing to see how my new lighting system works. Before I decide to uproot everything and move to a new part of the house. So, consider this video a test of my lighting system while I try to figure out where I'm going to put it. So this may not be the permanent spot where I'll be recording with my lights, but we'll find out. So in today's video, I thought it'd be incredibly fun if I looked back at a video I made while I was in high school. Now I was going to react to the first video I ever made, but that's when I remembered I made a video in high school. So after weeks of looking for it on YouTube, I finally found it. So what we're going to do is, you're going to watch me react to the first video I ever made, which was a music video. So if you'd like to keep along, the video will be somewhere up on the screen as I react. So you'll get to see, see it as I react to it. So without further ado, let's get into some reacting to some poorly made videos I did in high school. Well a video. Okay, so as I said, the video will be up on the screen, but we will be reacting to this together. Southwest Ohio Music Video by Ryan Necro. Yeah, I blurted out. I didn't want my real last name on it. So, I don't even know what's going on right now. Probably because I don't have sound. So we were, let me pause it, pause. So I'm not sure what was actually going on. This was like 10th grade, I think. And it's just a bunch of my friends that were in my class and I think we were grouped together and we all had to make our own music video but we all had to work as a team as in, my group may have had three other people, so they were in my videos and I was in their videos, so... And I don't know what direction I was going with with this video whatsoever, so I guess we'll find out. That's one of my teachers that I had back there dancing down at the end of the hallway. He was ridiculous. I really think this was just like a big behind the scenes of everyone's recording and I turned it into a music video because nothing is happening still. Whatsoever. You got random people walking down the hallway like, I was a genius in high school, what can I say? You, do you see that amazing transition? Let me pause it. Did you see that amazing transition, transition that I had? I can't even speak today. I'm like a fucking idiot right now. <laughs> but did you see that keyhole transition? This is the first time I ever edited a video. And I would like to think I was better then than the first actual YouTube video I did because I did no editing. Except for cutting it and be like, I'm uploading this part. So the keyhole transition was kind of like bleh. I mean, I use pinwheel now, so... I guess I upgraded. Uh, fuck if I know. What's going on right now, my only guess is that behind, besides it being like a behind the scenes of everyone else's recording, I think it was more along the lines of I was following this girl around school and recording what was going on with her and her interactions with friends. And then I guess we'll have to see if I was correct, but that's my guess for right now. So let's start it back up. Dude, you can do a better cartwheel than I can. At this point, I still don't know what's going on. I guess these are friends that the girl was looking for. Poorly edited, old school looking footage. Um, I had to pause it real quick. The old school footage, like the effect, that was one of my favorites in high school. And I just wanted to let you know that. It made it look like complete shit. 
Funny story, the same editor that we used in high school is the same editor that I use now. So, shows you you could do a lot with it. I just didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And it was an older version. Still don't know what's going on. Just some rapping, I guess. Well, why it's going on real quick, the music in the background was actually made in my... Ooh, let me pause it. Yeah, that's me. That was me back in high school. But the music you're hearing in the background is a song that was created by people that live here in the same town I do. It was, I believe... It will, it will show the name of the song in the credits. It's called Southwest Ohio. It's the remix remix. I guess. And it's by, like, either Zombies of Funk or Zombies of Zen. I can't remember which of the two it was. But they are a local group, and one of the main person that was in them, the DJ of sorts, that made all the beats, he has went on to currently tour around the U.S. quite a lot. Um, you can look him up. His name is Yeti. Uh, there will be a link where you can find him down in the description if you'd like to hear some of his other music. Um, as for the rappers in the video, I'm not sure if they're still doing anything. So, let's continue on with the video. Right now, it looks like I'm playing the bad guy and trying to kidnap her. Uh, she takes off running to her man? I don't know. But it was just a short little video. Um, the cast. Uh, the class that I was in. Uh, the song, as I said, was Southwest Ohio Remix Remix, and it was created by Zombies of Funk. Not Zombies of Zen, Zombies of Funk. Zombies of Zen... Zombies of Zen was an older group before Zombies of Funk, and I think they came together as Zombies of Zen being my friend Jetty, and Zombies of Funk being the people that were rapping. And I don't know what their name was before, but I think they came together to make Zombies of Funk. Who knows? But this video, I still have no idea what's going on. It started off as like, it looks like a behind the scenes, but then it keeps following this girl. And then it starts showing other people, which I guess were her friends at the time. And then it shows me, I guess, playing the bad guy, kidnapping her. And then she runs off like a love story back to her friend. Or her boyfriend. Or a mannequin, I don't know. It wasn't a mannequin. I still don't remember exactly why I chose what I chose for the video, but still at the same time I had fun making it. It was my first actual experience getting to make a real video. So yeah, I would say I would leave the link to this video down in the description, but I'm not going to. Um, though I will say if you guys leave enough likes on this video and this video gets enough views I will go ahead and upload the music video by itself so let's shoot for 50 likes 100 views that way not everyone that watches it has to like it but if we could get 50 likes and 100 views I'll just go ahead and release the music video on my channel and you guys can watch it whenever you want without me blabbing. So I know this wasn't maybe the longest video ever, but I thought it would be very fun. I was thinking about doing a new series where I react to stuff from when I was younger that I did, this being one of them. So look out for more episodes of me reacting to my childhood. That should be entertaining. Uh, for now, though, I am Ryan Necra, and I will feel you later. Also, down in the comments, let me know how you like my lighting setup right now. That way I know if I should maybe try setting it up somewhere else or leaving it here. So let me know down in the comments how you actually like this new setup. Um, but yes, I am Ryan Necker and I will feel you later.